channel. Hashtag TNC Now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the new channel. Our passion transforms a community that sees and shares all things new. This is Carla Davila. And this is Kathy Solis Davila from Breakfast with the King. You're watching a special episode of TNC The Press Con. Hi, Kathy. You know what? I am so excited for this press con because I myself am a classicist and uh, I'm excited to watch the show. Uh, Swan Lake, no? Uh, Master PC and Tchaikovsky. And I'm excited to ask no, the brain and the visionary for this show. She's our guest right now. Yes, I am. Um... A witness to how you are a big fan of classical music. Um, early in the morning, when he brings me to work, yan classical music yung playlist ni Carlo, and I'm like, okay, para tayong ang aga-aga for that. Pero that's what that's what um what ano pa parang it's what car what gives energy to Carlo. You know, you know, you're able to start your day right. Pag nakikinig ka ng classical music. And um, yeah, we're, we're all very excited for this wonderful show that is about to happen, Carlo. Um, what do you know about Swan Lake? Well, Swan Lake, no, um, it's based on a symphony by uh, Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky or Tchaikovsky, as I pronounce it. Um, original, well, it's really a ballet, no? And uh, I'm so happy that they're bringing it here in the Philippines because, yeah. um, you know, and classical music is so rich. Mm-hmm. You know, the more you listen to it, the more you understand it. Hindi siya nakakasawa. And uh, the beauty of this is that normally when you listen to it, you're, you use your imagination, you use your, uh, uh, what do you call this, um, uh, your emotion not to try to understand what the music is trying to convey. Here, it's even more beautiful because they use the art of dance no? mm-hmm. to to tell the story no? of Swan Lake. So without further ado, prepare to be transported into the enchanting realm of classical ballet and symphonic symphonic brilliance as City Dance Academy proudly presents Swan Lake, an enchanted moment. This timeless variation is set to grace the stage, promising audiences a memorable artistic splendor. Let's all watch this video. Super exciting. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> um, we'd like to bring here into the TNC Press Con stage the co founder and COO of City Dance Academy, Miss MJ Aspacho. Hello, Miss MJ. Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. How are you? We're Thank good. You so much How for are me. you? All good. We're very busy right now for all the rehearsals. 
we only have two weeks to go. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Um, MJ, no. Um, uh, this is a great opportunity to learn more about your org- your company, you know, and also uh, this uh, you know beautiful event, this beautiful art that you're bringing to the Philippines. I believe, talaga, with all my heart, no, that all Filipinos should be exposed to this beauty. They're not ju- they're not yet just that exposed there, but once they get you know uh, to see it more and more, the more they will fall in love with. Uh, classical music with ballet now to start off no let me ask this question what motivated you to bring swan lake one of the most iconic and challenging ballets to the philippine stage yeah actually uh we believe that swan lake really is uh a very iconic and as you mentioned it's challenging uh that we want to stage right now so but you know uh the power to ca- captivate and inspire our audience uh, by presenting this iconic ballet masterpiece uh, we seek to ignite as you mentioned the passion for the arts uh we wanted mm-hmm. to be en- to encourage and as- uh, inspire aspiring artists to blend with our professional artists you know the unique um uh, show that we're going to be um showcasing is that we can you imagine the aspiring artists so these are like the ones that are still uh, mastering uh, ballet um, as their program. We will be showcasing them together with our professional mm-hmm. art. You know? So our choreographers are very excited. And of course, we want the art enthusiasts in the Philippines to be equally excited, right? So it's, again, it's mm-hmm. a very complex, challenging um, masterpiece. And yet, this is what we want to showcase. Oh wow, that's really beautiful that you're giving opportunity to the up and coming. So hindi lang yung mga you know um, made na or sikat na, but also exactly. yung packet malang. That's really beautiful. Yeah, so Miss can you imagine the challenge? Yes, yeah, sorry for interrupting you, Miss MJ. Because parang um as I can see here on camera, parang you have the figure of um of a dancer you yourself are you acting or uh, sorry are you acting or performing in this play as well even if you are like a, the co-founder i mean behind the scene you have behind the scenes work are you also well, going that's to be <laughs> are you also going to be in front of the stage or uh, on no, stage I'm yeah no i'm not going to be in and I'm not going to be on the stage but because I am more on the backstage right now. I am uh, one of the creative directors for this play. So uh, I, I'm very much involved in the choreography, in the um, uh, costume designs, right? So, so overall, so, uh, that's where my passion right now is to make sure that the show will really run smooth and it's going to be a showcase for our audience. Wow. But yeah, you didn't answer my question, ma'am. You all, but you also have a background in dancing. Yes. yes. For ballet, wow. yes. <laughs> studied, for how long for how long did you have to study ballet? About ten years also, yeah. Ten years also, yeah. It you know, it really runs in the family, you know. Uh we are in our family, we are really inclined into performing arts and theater. So I think that's innate in our family. Nice. That's really nice. So, but ma'am, how did you prepare for, you know, your actors and dancers for the role of Odette and Odile, the white and black swans? Um, You know, they require different styles and techniques of dancing. So how did you prepare them for the, you know, difficult roles? Right. Yeah. Usually uh, in other classical ballet um, stage, uh, there's only one black and white swine but for us since uh we want to make sure that it's more um explorative more collaborative we assigned one odette and another one role for odile so there's one black and one white swan so uh, basically uh this as this and these are both aspiring artists by the way so but uh both them are required in the technical refinement 
emotional connection. Of course, they want we want them to be collaborative in dancing because the, their partners, the Prince Prince Siegfried and Roth Bart, are both professional artists. So that is them to send him. So it's really the technical refinement we focus specifically also with the emotional connection for all the artists, the aspiring and the professional. Wow. And um, yeah, how many hours a day do they have to rehearse, ma'am? Yeah, for the for Odette alone, uh, they are required to at least two to four hours, you know, because it's a lengthy, like for the the solo of Odette, it's or and the 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 part the pair, what we call the padidu, is already five minutes a dance piece. And then there's another solo of um, Odette. So it requires a lot. Actually, uh, just the padi do, it requires them two to four hours just for one rehearsal. And then there's another story for the solo of the artist. So can you imagine, especially right now, as we, we are now closer to the show, so we are requiring now a more intense and more number of rehearsal days. Shocks, it's, it's really a lot of work. Huh? Yeah. So uh, it, that's how it is. But if you want to create something beautiful, you really have to put in the, you know, the effort there. Uh, exactly. Yeah, uh, let, let's move forward to the next. Uh, I want to ask you, you know, how did you uh, collaborate with uh, other dancers, especially the one playing Prince Siegfried? to create a convincing and captivating chemistry chemistry between the dancers on stage. Right. Actually, uh, we're very grateful that the creation of captivating chemistry on the stage in Swan Lake was a real, uh, it's a collaborative effort rooted in open communication and it's very important, shared exploration of the characters, you no, know, and a commitment trust building talaga so and of course with the help and expertise of our creative directors uh, of bringing authenticity and emotional depth of the portrayal of you know not just uh, Prince Siegfried but to the rest of the characters that the main character the main cast is the most important aspect that we really focus on uh, all throughout the storyline Thank you. I have a follow-up question. We're talking about chemistry, you know, and chemistry, you know, sometimes it, uh, on the get-go, uh, there is chemistry right away, you know, you get along right away, but you understand each other right away. But there are times, you know, that uh, most of the time, you really need to spend time to uh, get that chemistry with your partner, you know, with your colleagues. Um, did you prepare for this uh, event, this Swan Lake event? way way before to get that yes. chemistry okay so with that uh i i think uh what we did is we really want to make sure that all the characters uh we have that what we call meet and greet you know we have to build again as i mentioned earlier we have to build that relationship first you will not be really forming a chemistry a good chemistry in that matter if they are awkward with each other they don't have you know the get to know stage before the rehearsals even right so there's like um initial friendship that has built so that they will trust each other whatever the dance or the steps that will be required in the whole um uh, stance that is being required with them then they can really eventually uh portray it by heart uh, it's not it's no longer uh, being required by the creative director or the show director itself, it's already by them heart dancing and it will follow. That's why it's very important to have that, you know, a forming or, or building relationship before even pairing with uh, specific uh, dancers or artists, performing artists in that case. Super nice. And ma'am, how did you adapt um, the original choreography and music of Swan Lake to suit the Filipino taste? Because this is for the yeah. audience, no? That's right. That's right. Yeah. So adapting Swan Lake for local stage involves uh, a holistic approach that considered, we have, we have to consider the music. 
it should be like the original but at the same time with a twist like in terms of the choreography the costumes mm-hmm. you'll, you'll be really surprised with the costumes because we really um customize the costumes of course it's still based on the original costumes through the years uh, but we want to make sure that it's more enticing, it's more attractive to our uh, local stage, right? Uh, they need to mm. fall in love, not just with the character, but at the same time, the whole package of uh, the performing artists. And of course, the narrative elements of it. And then we wanted to aim to create a resonant experience, inviting the audience to really connect what is really Swan Lake all about in the way that they will reflect the beauty and diversity of our own, our own cultural heritage. Really customized. That's it. really nice. That's really nice. You know, Swan Lake, you know, that that symphony, no. Um, si Chay- Tchaikovsky, no. Uh, yan yung pagsabi ng pagka, ano eh, parang accurate Tchaikovsky kasi ako eh. Pero uh, si Tchaikovsky, no, if I'm not mistaken, he's Russian. Right? So uh, yeah, so he's Russian. Uh, though the emotion and the, you know the the story, the theme of Swan Lake can communicate with you. Uh, you know, I believe it can touch the viewers more. Like what you said, no, wherein you try to relate it, not only with you know uh, relating the Russian culture to the Filipino culture. Yeah, so. Okay. I napakaganda. And uh, you know, let me ask you another question. What what are some of the highlights and challenges of performing Swan Lake at the RCBC Theater in Makati, uh, which is a world class uh, venue? So how was it, you know, as you audition uh, as you practice there? Right, right. Yeah, actually, we're very grateful with RCBC Theater. It's always been our home theater for a mini uh, musical. Uh, we considered uh, Swan Lake uh, the venue of city uh, of of um, having to partnership with um, RCBC Theater because RCBC Theater, as you notice, there are uh, intimate uh, musicals that are being shown there be it in ballet, be it in opera, drama, dance, etc. It's being used. Their, their facility is being used. What we love about them is it's an intimate theater wherein the audience can truly engage and enjoy a world class experience. Because if you notice, even if you're in the orchestra, the lodge, or even at the balcony, even if it's like in the balcony, you can still feel, you can see the facial reaction of the audience, right? So even if the, the, the audience, we'll also see the, the reaction of the performing artist. So uh, I, in general, uh, we, we cannot uh, see um, very minimal challenges because again, uh, it's an intimate theater. That's what we, we like or we love about RCBC theater. So uh, that's why we love performing there every every year end. It's it's a must. Uh, it has been a tradition of City Dance to produce a year end show in our RCBC theater the first Sunday of December. So this year we're producing Swan Day, uh, especially for RCBC theater. Nice. That's awesome. I enjoy watching there at RCBC Carlo. So it's my first time to um, watch a show with you there, Carlo. Um, yeah, so I'm next, excited, actually. I'm really excited. Swan Lake is known for its technical difficulty and, in, and emotional intensity. So how were you able to balance the physical and emotional, you know, mental demands of rehearsing and performing, you know, um, for, for them, for your actors to perform and you know, at their best. Right, yeah. Actually, balancing the physical and mental demands of rehearsing and, of course, performing Swan Lake really requires proactive approach. Huh? Uh, we prioritize uh, both physical and mental well-being of all the artists implementing uh, a very structured training routines, right? So of course, we want to take good care of our performing artists all throughout uh, the show date, right? And then we're very blessed, of course, with the guidance of our artistic directors, even they are very miles away because our artistic directors, um, teacher Eugene and teacher Philip, are now based in the U.S., but they, they, they're, they're just supporting us um, uh, through Zoom. You know, there's a the technology right now. So with our artistic director's guidance, uh, we are always uh, 
very confident uh, that we will be able to pull every show that we um, create for all of our audiences. That's that's great to hear, you know. Um, you know, uh, MJ, I have an interesting question here, you know. It's kind of personal, but at the same time, this question I think, you know, could relate to many people, um, and probably especially well, it relates to men, you know, but especially women, especially women. And here, here is this question: How do you relate? to the character for them who is cursed to live as a swan day by day uh, by day and a woman by night and longs for true love and freedom wow what a heavy question huh <laughs> it is a heavy question yeah. <laughs> <Google questions>. system <laughs> is <laughs> universe already <laughs> Ah, yeah, <laughs> it's about to. Very interesting, actually. That's very interesting question. Relating the uh, the character of Odette, it, it evolves, uh, an emotional exploration, talaga, eh. physical expression, and collaboration with our creative team. Um, because it's so hard eh, that you are living uh, a swan in a day and then a woman by night, and then finding your true love, and then you find. A betrayal in the end right so i think um the lesson there is really um true love uh, at the end of the day is something that you can only feel from within so that's why we always say that uh doing swan lake it requires a lot of ex emotional exploration so you really have to explore that from within, you know, more than the physical expression, the exhaustion, the, the exhaustion, right? Uh, but it's really an emotional from within. It's a heavy um, masterpiece uh, that really uh, requires from within. <laughs> it's very uh, interesting for everyone to find the true love of our life, right? <laughs> Men can relate to that, but I guess I believe more women. I think, no? yeah, and it goes both ways. I think, yeah. right? Okay. Both ways. With Indeed. regards to um, ballet and classical music, uh, um, with regards to ballet and classical music, um, I think it's more popular. Well, in in um, the European countries, no, parang. Um, but in the Philippines, how do you, know, you think that over the years or the decades, we have been, you know, like more educated and um, we've grown more um, fond of of classical music and ballet. Um, what do you think of, you know, of the, the interest of Filipinos in, in ballet and classical music? Actually, this uh, the, in this time at present, the Filipinos are increasingly embracing the classical music. Uh, even the younger generation were very, very surprised at first, but we're kind of very happy. It's extremely happy, especially ballet is uh, as an integral component of our cultural heritage. Uh, because when we say ballet, it's kind of boring. It's kind of operatic. It's kind of uh, you know that's for it's like you mentioned in the very start of the show it's kind of it's too much early in the morning to listen to classical uh, music specifically for bali but i guess the, the continued efforts of all the artists the cultural institutions that advocate and contribute to the ongoing growth uh, of this interest uh, in the arts of forms across the philippines it really helps uh, and uh, with the technology that we have right now. And uh, I think this is the best that we have um, adopted with the pandemic happened because it was it was all open right now to, to everybody, not just the, the adult, but even the younger generation. They were able to appreciate that uh, watching classical, listening to classical music is it's very soothing to the soul, right? Actually, uh, if I were to add to that, no, because um, I'm a classicist myself, no, um, 
before nagugulat yung mga uh, kaibigan namin you know I learned that from my dad ako I was in college tapos yun, I listened to rock music and then classical music yeah, as in ganun ka extreme ah, oh, oh I, I don't I don't listen to mainstream music it's either heavy metal and then classical music and uh, you know um sa classical music I think the others kasi because they're not that exposed yet they think all pieces are the same Uh, that's not so. It's the same with secular music. There are the nice ones and there are the not so nice ones. Or let's say there are the upbeat ones and there are the slow ones. So like for example, Swan Lake per se, no? specifically Swan Lake, it's very exciting. And uh, I have to say, no, regarding uh, you, uh, you know, the ballet, you know, what, what, what is beautiful about that is uh, Let's say I listen to Swan Lake, no, and it has a lot of, uh, you know, uh, how do you call it? Basta, a lot of uh, movements. But uh, it's long. And then when you listen to it, no, um, you, you, you get, you, you sort of interpret it in your mind, the emotion, you know, the feeling. But there's no story. But when you watch a ballet, that's the major difference. There is a story there. I said you watch it from the beginning and then the characters they evolve and this happens etc etc so i that's that's the beauty of that and uh thank you for bringing this to the philippines the, or you know uh, bringing more of it here in our country um wait okay let me ask you Alep. how do you cope with the pressure and expectation of performing a very popular you know, classical piece And, uh, a classic talaga masterpiece which is Swan Lake which is cons- uh, um, and uh, you know it is uh, very well known uh, for one of the greatest ballets in the world uh, does yeah. it pressure you and also no, I want to follow up that no? does it pressure everyone there including the what you said the up and coming Now that they're performing on the limelight, no? this is RCBC theater, and uh, there are a lot of uh, you know um, higher ups there watching. So how how is it? How do they take it? Yeah, actually, uh, what we always tell to everyone, you know, coping with the pressure and expectation of performing Swan Lake. Uh, involves uh, humbaga, thorough preparation and supportive partners, I guess. Uh, that's what we have. So by embracing the artistic journey and viewing each performance as a unique opportunity for growth and expression, uh, humbaga, we navigate the challenges with determination, our passion, and our commitment to the art of Bali. So what we always say in general, we perform because we have the passion of doing it. We are determined and committed. At the same time, all of this on top, don't forget to have fun, right? So if you're having fun, it will be naturally uh, whatever that is. No matter how heavy or like there's a lot of pressure right now, it's okay. So just have fun. Uh, they will be, it will be shown. Eh? Uh, the audience will feel that you're having fun, but you are committed to it. You're showcasing that passion and determination and commitment. I guess that's a secret sauce that we have. Keeping the fun. That's that, really nice what you said. Alam Kati, ito, I believe this truly. Uh, this is my motto. The moment that you kill the kid in you, you kill your creativity. Exactly. Yeah. You, you have to tap that. Eh. You know, uh, uh, diba, you have to have good work ethic, you have to be structured, pero the kid in you has to be alive. Because else, you'll be like a robot. Exactly. It's like, ano yan, a routinary. Routinary is very difficult. So uh, They're all technical. That's what you call, that's part of the technicality. Eh. So being technical, <laughs> it's not sufficient. It's, it will not radiate. It will not tell the story behind what you're trying to, mm. to tell, right? That's right. I agree. That's so cool. Um, actually, it's it would be applicable for anything, no? even in, in our own jobs, mm. right? What you're saying, um, yes. and I appreciate that. Now, 
um, people will see if you like your job, if you are mm. enjoying it, or you're just like, you know, being just, you know, ano na lang eh, parang going through the motions. Yeah. So that's I mean, what we're trying to avoid. Yeah. Yeah. You have so, to have fun while you're doing it. So our last question for you, Miss MJ, is what do you hope to achieve and communicate through Swan Lake, which is a timeless tale of love, betrayal, and redemption? Right. Wow, what a Miss Universe question again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the crown goes to... And the crown goes to... I know, but yeah. So our aspiration for um, Swan Lake really go beyond, the as I mentioned, we go beyond the technical aspects of our performance. We hope to create a transformative experience for the audience. Uh, most especially, Shampre, the audience, com communicating to them uh, the, uh, the way we inspire them, we captivate their emotion. It's a celebration of uh, profound beauty of ballet. We want them to really embrace uh, what is ballet can do, that you really can uh, perform, dance, or act. Uh, you don't need to talk. You don't need to speak. Uh, a single word, but with your emotion, with your passion, I guess, it will really go beyond uh, to the audience. It will resonate, right, what the message is all about. So we want to have that uh, captivity in our audience to make them inspire, right? So maybe it's it's the time for them to discover their passion in the arts and theater, pala, right? But it's never too late. What we always say, it's never too late to discover your passion in the arts and theater. So again, arts and theater, there's no age for it. So you can start as early as uh, maybe one year old, but as old as nothing. As long as you have the determination and passion, we're open for it. Uh, the stage is open. So having said nice. that, Ms. J, um, do you think that even the children uh, would be, um, you know, they would enjoy watching Swan Lake, even if the theme is quite heavy. Do you think this is also good for children? Definitely. Actually, uh, that's why uh, the, the twist of the Swan Lake that we are producing um, this year-end uh, show of City Dance Academy is we will be showcasing, remember I told you we will be showcasing aspiring artists, not just the the pre-professional, but we will be showcasing kids. So they will love to really oh, wow. see. Yeah, That's so that would be the fantastic twist of what we are doing. So they will see themselves as early as four-year-old. We have a performer that is as early as four-year-old. So they will see themselves, oh my gosh, I want to be mommy. I want to be like that. Or daddy, I want to, can I be like that? So I, I, that's why we are really inviting early as you know, three years old, yeah. four years old. Uh, it's a family affair. That's why it's a Sunday. So we want to do a family affair, uh, not just for, for individual, uh, but it's a really a family affair. So we want them to really um, enjoy the show and bring their kids to be inspired and be captivated with what we are trying to, to show kids. All right, so everyone, you heard it from Miss MJ Aspasho. Uh, we learned so much from you um, from this episode of the new channel, The Press Con. And um, Swan Lake, definitely, you should not miss, everybody. It's going to be an enchanted moment and brought to us by City Dance Academy. This is going to be um, uh, on December 3 at the Carlos P. Romulo Auditorium of the RCBC Plaza in Makati City. Carla, we miss that we miss that place, no? In, in Makati. Yeah, so, yeah, right. so uh, the panel is one of your media partners. So it's our privilege to have you tonight here at the the new channel, the press con. And um, MG would like Miss MG would like for you to um, invite everybody once again, and um, you know, so that so that they should not miss this, deba. Right? It's just gonna be for one day. It's just gonna be for one day. So that's two o'clock in the afternoon on December three 
at RCBC Theater. Uh, it's it's in the center of the metro and it's Sunday, so there's no traffic. So uh, it's it's and there's a lot of um, parking area in RCBC Plaza in Ayala Avenue. So yeah, for ticket and uh, for ticket reservation, you can just simply visit our website, uh, www.citydanceacademy.com, or you can also uh, contact Siri 917-272-6893, or you can find it on the screen uh, that's being flashed right now. Yeah, or you can visit our social media pages, which is City Dance Academy, uh, both in, in um, Instagram or Facebook. There you have it. And thank you so much, TNC, one of our official media partners for having us tonight. And we and look forward to seeing you. Yes, Miss MJ. Definitely, Carlo and I will be there. Um, and uh, yes. we'll be in person. Thank you so much. Uh, also, thank, thank you, you so to Miss Apple and Paula um, for, you know, for giving us the privilege of meeting you um, in this in this wonderful episode of um, TNC, the press con. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay, uh, wait, oh, lang. wait lang. Okay. Uh, because uh, Kathy and I are uh, hosts uh, in Breakfast with the King, which is a ministry show, MJ, uh, let us offer you a very, very, very short prayer. Um, yes. Lord, yeah. we speak Pro, uh, we speak success with this event that's coming. We speak growth for all the performers, especially those the up and coming. We speak. Um, uh, 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 we speak um, happiness, joy for all the organizers and the stakeholders, and we speak that all the Filipinos will who watches Swan Lake will have an appreciation of uh, classical music and ballet because uh, it is really, really beautiful. They don't know what they're missing and uh, it will happen now. So we pray this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And, and Lord, Lord, we came a full house in Jesus' yeah. name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, Miss Apple, for this opportunity and agreeing to be one of our media partners. Thank you, you so much. 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 Have a good Thank day. You. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. And there you have it, guys. Another episode of TNC The Press Con. We learned a lot about what's going to happen on December 3, um, Swan Lake at the RCBC Plaza in Ayala Avenue, Makati. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you there, guys. Very exciting, Kathy. And uh, to all our viewers, uh, don't forget, uh, our show is every Sunday. That's 10 a.m. It is Breakfast with the King. It's a ministry show focused on Jesus. And uh, see you there so that we have a blessed life. Oh,